Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back along to the Dairyman's Diary. My name is Frank, as always, I do hope you're doing very well today. You join me in the 3090, we're back on with the Diet Feeder here. We're just making sure that these girls here are all uh, topped up really, which they're looking good for there now. So we're just going to knock off the feeder. Uh, and we're going to take it back on up to the main yard there, where we're going to come back down in. We're still using the 4840. Uh, we're trying to use it as much as possible because, man, it's a beautiful track to the drive in. Um, but yeah, we've got a different type of challenge for it today. Before we go any further, though, let's up here. So, I'm going to shut this door. Yeah, there are a few more cattle in here. It's about another 25 now. Uh, we're a shade over, I think it's 57 we've got in here now. Uh, so that number is creeping up nicely and we'll hope to see that continue as we get another couple of loads in There might be a chance that I go out and take pick up a load myself actually uh, With our box uh, you'll notice that we have our silage cart out of here Which means we can get some more slurry on we're going to bring the uh, A tractor and tanker down to here soon and then we'll empty out what's in the lagoon there already and what's in the cattle shed here uh, but yeah, we're down to about, I don't know, it must be about 350,000 litres left in that lagoon in the top yard. So we've got a bit more taken out here and there. Got all of our ground covered that we can cover right now. Um, which is a, a good start, but yeah, there's a lot more to do there, I know for sure. Uh, you'll see here we've got our, our size stack is all squared up and looking well. Uh, and yes, yeah, so we've got lots of, if I can, we'll probably just bring a tractor down and stick it onto the abbey there. Bring the John Deere down from that. Uh, bring the 66 down, I think. Uh, we have, we're still waiting. Some of our grassland hasn't quite um, wilted enough. The hay ground is still hanging on there. We might have to throw the tether into that uh, maybe today or tomorrow. But but it is warm enough that we should uh, we should in theory see that dry out fairly quickly anyway. And then we're going to try and get some more knockdown on the deck pretty soon as well. Because, yeah, we could ideally just use it. Really want to get cracking with that, I think. Uh, and then we'll see how that goes. But everything else is done. We're all looking good. We've got so, a little bit of a break in the day, really, uh, because the hay isn't quite, well, it isn't anywhere near ready. We're going to go out and jump into the 4840, do a bit of draft work with it. Uh, we've got a little bit of slurry down on some um, on some fields that are waiting to go into winter barley, and we're just going to work that one over. Work that slurry in a little bit, make it look, uh, get it incorporated, because I don't want it just to dry on the top, so. Uh, we'll definitely do that and then we'll see how it all goes. So lots to do still uh, a few varying different tasks Once this old girl gets up the hill uh, We have taken it off the rake again because there's nothing to do right now and the cattle want a little bit of extra food Again, the the grass just isn't growing that much at the moment uh, Because we'd need some rain to be honest. So because it's not growing we did make the, the decision to feed them a little bit of extra uh, Total mixed ration there just to get them on track again keep the milk quota coming along um, so yeah, that's the kind of, that's our thought process there at least. Uh, and we'll see how, how we get on with it. But yeah, ultimately, it's, yeah, the, the sunny weather's been great, but we just do need a good, I would love about 12, 10, 15 millimeters of, uh, of rain sometime soon just to get us back on track. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see about that one. Uh, slurry goes so far, and it does help, but you really want a good, a good rain shower as well to wash that in. Uh, but yeah, otherwise everything else is good. I hope you're doing very well. Do let us know down below what you're working on, where you're working as always. Um, and yeah, we'll just uh, love to read through those comments when we can. There we go, we're up the hill. Can't be rushed when you're in the 3090 here. Now what you'll see as we come around the corner is that uh, the, hay, the, the hay ground here just hasn't really dried out at all. It's uh, still, it's on its way, it's just taking a little bit of time. Um, Hoping that we'll get it thrown around maybe in the next day or so, like I mentioned. But we've got this field on the on the right, left here. There is some land that I can get mowed down on the uh, down by the sheep yard as well. Cause we've got all that cleared now, so we'll be looking to get that done. And then uh, yeah, there's a, another field down there we can get some slurry on to as well. So we might look at doing that maybe tomorrow. But, uh, lots that we can certainly lots that we can look into. Never a, a quiet moment around here, that's for sure. I am getting a little bit concerned about what our the last of our silage cuts is going to look like again without that rain. It's going to be very, uh, it's going to be much reduced, which is in one sense is good that we had quite a bit left over. Because yeah, we, we, we may be starting to stare down the barrel of the fact that we're going to, we're going to need that. So uh, we'll have to see what that looks like. 
and um, hoping that we don't need to resort to buying some because I think grass prices or silage bale prices are going to be going up and up and up as this weather stays warm but uh, I think we've got enough ground there's some more ground that we're looking to get baled and mowed down for first cut which was this late it was the new block of land that we owned that hasn't had anything on it and there's about a four acre paddock down there that we're going to look to get mowed down soon as well so but lots to get going into Spring barley on our right is looking like it's in desperate need of a drink as well. Um, and we're going to see some really short yields on that one. And the straw, again, is going to be pretty, pretty poor. So uh, we need to think about that. Other than that, though, everything else is doing well. Come along very nicely. So we'll be uh, keeping an eye on it all. We're just going to park this up. Open the gate once again. And around we go, perfect. So we'll just swing this into here for now. Uh, the cattle up here got fed this morning. They're not getting fed twice today because you can see there's there's grass out there, but they're just getting a little top up really just to improve the. Uh, oh, left my light on again. This to improve the quality of their food, really, uh, is all that we can do. But yeah, as you'll see, the yard is still pretty empty. Uh, we're waiting, really, for the uh, crops to ripen. We're going to get out and do a bit more mowing, as I've mentioned. Uh, but today, uh, we're going to get stuck in with a bit more groundwork, really. Um, we It's still too dry for us to drill the... Uh, drill the winter barley. So the drill's parked up there ready to roll, but we're just going to have to hang on to that one. Uh, and then you'll see as we come around the corner here, we've got all that hay stacked up there and, and got that stack kind of tidied up a little bit. It wasn't a bit of a poor shape, so that's all been done and dusted. Looking a world better. This bit will be next to all out with the spinners in there. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, but yeah, we're going to jump on into the John Deere. This is the 4840 again, which is on loan uh, to us whilst our 7710 is in the uh, tractor hospital really because it's not very well at all uh, and i think latest uh, estimate is about another four and a half weeks for that to come back so um the gentleman who owns this is more than happy for us to continue to work and he, i asked him about putting the cultivator on the back so this is our six meter cavernland now we haven't really seen much of this because it's not brand new but it's been hidden away really in the shed uh but yeah it's a pretty decent uh, cultivator what we're just gonna be doing is working over the top of the the stubble field to start with, down at the uh, extended ground. Let's just begin by uh, starting this up, shall we? We've got to keep the door open for it. Oh, 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 oh. Every time. Alright then, let's get this lifted up here. This tractor should be perfect for this uh, cultivator here. It's it doesn't need a great deal of power, about 130, 140 horse, and the main thing with it was the weight, really, but this is a beast of a machine, so there's no... I've got no qualms there. And we're just going to take it around the corner, and then we'll get ourselves all set up and away. Not the biggest field in the world, it's only, uh, I think it's only about 15 acres, or if that, but... It's just something we can do now whilst waiting for other uh, jobs to advance, uh, and waiting for... Uh, grass to be dry and waiting to get grass mowed down, so we'll get that done today. Uh, it is still early in the day there, so we've got plenty of time in which to get mowing today. And besides, I want to use this, really. That's the top and bottom of it. You'll see the slurry on there was applied pretty thick, and we're just kind of, it's been, it's, it's soaking in nicely. And we'll look to get a little bit more work with that soon. Alright, off we go again. Had a lot of remarks on this actually. Uh, great to see that so many of you love this tractor in the comments as well. So do keep those coming in. Let us know uh, what your because obviously we are a bit of a, what, a big John Deere uh, farm here. Let us know what your favourite model of John Deere is down below in the comments there. And myself and uh, SFTN will try and read through those as well and see what's going on. But that'd be awesome to see. So as you can see. As we come down the hill here, we've actually got all those bales cleared where we left you the other day there. That's all been done. Uh, got that all cleared away. We're going to get that, that field knocked down this afternoon. 
the field of grass that are knocked down in the extended land, they're still drying out as well nicely, so we'll be waiting to see how that progresses. Um, hopefully, again, that was two days ago, so uh, we'll be looking in the next couple of days to get that all bailed up. So, lots of, I've probably got about 60, 70 acres either on the deck or about to get mowed down, so there's lots of work to get cracking on with. We just need the weather to improve. The ground on our right, on our left there as well, it needs to uh, dry out as well, but other than that, we're doing okay. I'm in that position right now where I need good uh, uh, long spells of dry weather, but for the likes of the spring valley down here, I need a good rain shower, so I'm in the mix, uh, middle really. Um, once I get that hay bale, though, I'd love just nothing but rain just to kind of get things up and going again. Because uh, all this grassland around here has had slurry on it, and it just needs a bit of rain to get it going. Really does, that's all it's after. Yeah, we're going to come into here, we're going to work this field over on the right, uh, and then that should be pretty much, we're not going to be plowing that one over this year, uh, we're just going to try and do, hopefully the minimum tillage with this will do it, but we'll see. Okay, now, we wait for that, let's do that. And, uh, oh, there we go. Alright, I wanted to try and get some uh, dual wheels onto this, but I thought it was just a little bit too unnecessary, really, for the amount of time we're going to be doing uh, groundwork as well. I think we'll get a buy with it. there. Should make an awfully nice racket as we get going. There we go. Well, it certainly knows it's there. It's, it's, it's doing its job, it's working everything over nicely. I wonder if you could still, I mean it's not my tractor, but if you could still get GPS under this. I know that uh, it's a bit of the Grassman boys with their, uh, they have a 47, uh, 55 I think it is, and I know they can get a bit of a... Uh, they got some guidance steering on there. What do you reckon though, folks? Do you reckon we could... I'm sure we could get something on there, if you wanted. Like I say, not, not my machine though, as much as I'd like the uh, mechanic to, to uh, uh, give me this or, or strike up a deal. It's, I don't think you'd ever let it go properly. He even came out the other day when we were spreading slurry to take photos of it because he, he wanted to see it in action there, so... Yeah, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Which is fair enough, I think we get behind that. Yeah, we'll be looking to get everything drilled up in the next, uh, I'm hoping the next week. But we'll have to wait and see. It just depends on that. It's kind of at the bottom of my list at the moment there. Um, I know the long-term forecast I was looking at recently did say there's going to be a little bit of rain soon, but I'm not sure how much. I'll have to see if that's going to be sufficient for me to get cracking, but it would be ideal if it is. Yeah, as you can see, we're just kind of working over the top inch or so, really, at the moment now, incorporating that slurry that we did spread onto here, and then that should be enough to keep us all, keep us going there, really. Oh, we are missing bits, though. Come on, Frank. I'm not a full-time tractor driver and a dairy man. I can't tell what's wrong or right. Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be somewhere else to set me free. I don't know what to do now. Need to figure it out, but I don't know how. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be. I don't know where I belong, but I keep on searching for my home. There's a hunger in my soul, makes me keep on trying, holding on. Take me on. Thank you. 
place where the sun won't go away wide awake with an open mind looking out from a mountain high i don't know what to do now need to figure it out but i don't know how i hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where i should be Okay, folks. Well, we ended up drawing it, but I'm not quite sure how well it's worked. I'm sure we'll get something pieced together. Uh, we're missing a few bits here, but we're, we're getting through it all. Um, and we're just going to check off those. Uh, get rid of those weeds there. I'm hoping as well that maybe if we're, by working this over, we might get a bit of a chit of black grass coming through if, there's, if it's not too hot for it. So if it is, then we'll get that sprayed off as well before we drill it. But otherwise... We're just going to keep pushing through with this, really. There's not a lot else happening right now. We're just going to go out and do some more mowing this afternoon. Keep on cracking on with it all, really. Something you've seen a lot of so far. But we'll bring you an update, hopefully, when we're back out bailing hay. So watch the space for that one. Until then, though, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. Hope you have enjoyed. If you've got any questions, comments, or feedback, don't forget to leave them down below. Don't forget, as well, to uh, mention... Drop a comment with your favourite John Deere down there as well. And we'll have a review through all those and look forward to, to seeing your, your thoughts and opinions. Until next time though, I have been Frank, your host. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of A Dairyman's Diary. And we'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day and we'll catch you later.